Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a number of ways to fix Windows 10 startup problems, either in the form of automatic repair loop, your PC did not start correctly, infinite booting, or some other similar startup problems you might be experiencing with your Windows 10. So here I powered on this laptop and after a few minutes trying to boot up, it pops this blue screen error saying automatic repair, your PC did not start correctly. And after attempting the initial fix, it further posts this error saying startup repair couldn't repair your PC. Yours might be different, maybe some kind of infinite boot loop or other blue screen errors. Now there are several possible reasons why you may be experiencing this problem. It could be due to some abrupt shutdown or power failures. It could be due to some incompatible updates or even due to some applications you have installed on your PC. Now depending on the event that led to this problem, you wouldn't need to try all fixes. You could simply pick the method that is more likely to solve your problem and implement it. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing to try, especially if this is the first time you are seeing a blue screen error like this with a restart option, would be to try the restart option and see if it will boot you back into Windows. Then afterwards, you can observe the behavior of your PC to see if this happens again. Like I mentioned earlier, this could be due to power failure or abrupt shutdown of the PC. It could also happen when you attach some new hardware like external hard drive or USB devices to your PC. And for some reason, such devices are not fully compatible with your PC or just pops a blue screen and shuts down. I've seen that happen with USB sticks and external hard drives. In such cases, there wouldn't be any need to panic or change any settings. Simply use this restart option to try to boot your PC back to Windows. But if that fails or if you keep getting such errors over and over again, then you can proceed with the other suggestions in the video. The second fix would be to use the Startup Repair tool. This is a default tool provided in Windows to help fix problems that keep your Windows from loading. So while on this blue screen where it says Automatic Repair, your PC did not start correctly, click on the Advanced Options. And then you should have a screen like this. Here, click on Troubleshoot. On the Troubleshoot screen, click on Advanced Options again. And then here, click on Startup Repair. Now, if you have multiple user accounts, it will prompt you to select the account you want to fix. Just select your account and enter the password. Then hit continue and wait for the startup repair tool to diagnose and try to repair your windows automatically. And while that happens, you should see messages like this saying diagnosing your PC, checking disk for errors and attempting repairs and so on. Now, as written here, this process could take a while from few minutes to maybe an hour depending on the situation. However, if this continues for an unusually long period of time, then you should consider stopping the process and trying some other fixes. Now, if this gets successful, you should be able to log back into your Windows. However, in my case, as you can see here, after running this process, it says Startup Repair couldn't repair your PC. Now, if you get a similar feedback or yours keeps running for an unusually long period of time, then you should proceed with the third suggestion. The third approach would be to use the registry backup command called regback. What this command does is to replace your registry configuration with the last known good configuration you have on your PC. So basically changing your registry configuration to the configuration of your most recent successful boot up. To do that, you will need to go back to this advanced options screen. And on this page, click on the command prompt option. Now you should open up this command prompt terminal. Here type in the letter of the disk drive where you installed your operating system, usually is the C drive. In some cases, it could be a different drive like D if you have configured it so. So here I will type in the letter C and then a colon and hit enter. Now type in DIR and hit enter. Here, if you find the folders program files and program files x86 together with other folders like users and windows then you are in the right drive otherwise type in another later like d and then colon and hit enter then dir so as you can see here are the directories i was expecting to see so i'm now in the right drive now before running the regback command i will back up the current registry in case i have some need to restore it afterwards for that i will type in the command cd space backward slash windows backward slash system32 backward slash config and hit enter then type md 
space, back up, as shown on the screen, and hit enter. Now type copy space asterisk dot asterisk space back up and hit enter. Then wait a bit for the files to be copied. After that, type in cd space reg back and hit enter. Then type dir once again and hit enter. Here you should have a bunch of items with some 6 to 7 or even 9 digit numbers next to them. Now here is an important warning. If you do not see the kind of numbers I just described or if you have zeros like I do in this case, then just exit this fix and move to the next fix in the video. For this solution to be feasible and to avoid further complications to your computer, please check that you have the kind of numbers I mentioned here. Otherwise, just type exit and hit enter and then move to the next fix. If you have valid numbers here, then go ahead and type the command copy space asterisk dot asterisk space dot dot and hit enter. Then type the letter A and hit enter to override all. Finally, type exit and hit enter to complete the process. It should then take you back to this page where you can now choose to continue to start up your computer or to shut down. However, if all these three fixes fail, then you can consider running a system restore. For that, you will need to make a bootable USB with Windows 10 installation files. I've included that in a video I made as one of the fixes for blue screen of death problem in Windows. I will add the link of that video in the description section. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.